I wanted to build something that I wanted to include my family. Mm -hmm. I have two kids. So I think it was a better way. Uh, we like to go out. We like to travel to, uh, we go to national parks. Oh, okay. we, la we love snow. Mm. So I was like, I just want to build something that it's, it's appropriate. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Mora Miami. Today we have Miguel. Miguel, thank you so much for making some time for thank us. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Miguel, you're gonna have to speak louder because we're right next to the freeway. All right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, man. So, before we get into this awesome project behind you, tell us a little bit about like cars. How did you get introduced to cars? When did you start liking cars? Anything around cars? Well, um, I grew up in, in, uh, in Mexico. So, like, as you know, BW is really yep. big in Mexico. Yep, yep. So since I was, I would say probably eight or seven, my 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 dad had a rabbit. Uh huh. My my grandpa had a rabbit. <laughs> my Great grandpa had a rabbit. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I mean, it was like maybe it was 80, 85, 82, I think. So all my uncles they have uh, the thing, which is a safari in Mexico. Uh huh. So, I mean, we'll be in cars all the time. We'll be uh, um, hanging out. We'll see them fixing the, uh, fixing the cars. They're BWs, they're, so they're always fixing yeah, them. Oh, yeah, BWs. <laughs> <laughs> and then my, my brother, once he grew up, he got a, a, a bug. Oh, like so a newer bug? It was a 90... Okay, so one of the newer, like a 90, like 92, okay. 92 uh, bug. So he started fixing it little by little, so... I think I was a 13 already. He's eight, he was 18. He was like 20, 21. Um, so for my my brother to be able to go out, my mom would tell him like, okay, you want to go out? Yeah, take, take your me. brother. <laughs> well, <laughs> so we'll go to the meets uh -huh. in Acapulco. So we go to the meets, uh, um, and then that's how it started, man. We started hanging out with other guys. Started meeting other guys that will be mechanics. Uh -huh. They'll have muffler shops. And uh, just like that, we started uh, um, hanging out with them, going to meet. We're going to another state, like with the whole gang of uh, uh, bugs. And uh, um, yeah, started meeting other people. And, and so, so what car did you want it? Did you want a bus or? I wanted a bug. A I wanted bug. a bug. You know, what's funny because one of my favorite bugs that I wanted to buy, being in Mexico, was a pink. It was a pink bug. What year? It was 72. Oh, but it was see, pink. But, see, but it goes well with it. But it's 72. Yeah. That's that's okay. It was that that was my favorite car. The pink one. Yeah, so uh so yeah, I mean my first car was a Jetta. I know your fa <laughs> your favorite car is a Jetta. It was a 2001. Okay, that's a cool. It was yeah. a 2001 Jetta. Um, and yeah, I mean, again, I started fixing it, put 17 inch wheels on, on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. Uh, okay. And that's it, man. I mean, little by little, I was putting sound system. I mean, you can't really do a lot over there. Plus the streets, I don't know how the streets yeah, are. Yeah, they're like, really, really bad. bad. So you can't lower it that much. You're really bad. And plus, the access, the access to get parts down there is not as easy as here. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like here you can Anything. build your car yeah. in a week. Yeah. with the parts over there you kind of i mean and at that time too it was kind of like oh who has some lower springs it was like oh nobody okay let's cut them <laughs> so <laughs> it, yeah, that, yeah. that was the easiest way to so. so then fast forward how do we end up with this uh jetta crv well <laughs> <laughs> well i started coming to the states visiting my family here and uh uh being here, my cousin, he was into Hondas. I mean, he, he would like it. Now, I would see Hondas around uh -huh. and stuff, and I knew that that was the thing here. So I was able to uh, um, to stay here. When Once I decided to stay here, I sold my car in Mexico. And uh, my first car was a uh, 90 seats uh, uh, Honda Civic hatchback. 
Oh, you started off good. So that was my that uh -huh. was my my uh, first car here. The introduction to the Honda. Game. So it's it was it was all all that it was Honda and stuff. I started working in a restaurant, and uh, um, there was a guy there that had a, a, another hatchback. Uh -huh. So once I came in with my hatchback, then we started talking. Came over. That's cool. We started talking, and then uh, uh, he would say like, "Hey." We, there's a meet tonight, let's go to 43rd. I'm not sure if you're familiar with 43rd in San Diego. I mean, I think whoever is from San Diego, they Don't know, know the 43rd, they know Aero Drive, all those areas where all the Hondas will hang out. Ah. So I started meeting uh, um, a lot of people. Um, and that's how it started, man. I mean, you will see me dressed like this and then all the, all, all the guys were really like, Gangster looking and stuff. But <laughs> who, who invited this guy? He, he drives a hatchback. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I mean, but you know, what's funny is that you go to church and you meet a lot of nice people, but the people I have a better relationship is car people related with cars, man. Yeah. Like, I still yeah. know all the guys that I met <laughs> since that first day. That's so funny. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I still talk to them. I still hang out. I mean, I still uh, um, see them here and there, you know, but it's it's yeah, cool, man. man. I mean, that's how it goes. I mean, with I think the car game, what I like about the car scene, sorry, it's that you meet real people, you know, I, I think that sharing a, uh, uh, that passion, it just changes everything. Definitely. You know, it's it can be like different types of uh, cars, but at the end of the day, it's still it's the same passion for same that passion motive. For, yeah, man. I mean, uh, I could not agree more, man. Yeah. So, how do you end up with the CRV? So, with the CRV, um, I wanted to build something that I wanted to include my family. Mm -hmm. I have two kids, so I think it was a better way. Uh, we like to go out. We like to travel to, uh, we go to national parks. Oh, okay. we, la we love snow. Mm. So I was like, I just want to build something that it's, it's appropriate for mm -hmm. there. And oh, then I yeah, mean, to, to, drive it, to drive it to the snow, to hang out and I mean, to have the space. So yeah, that's why I came up with this. And nice. I mean, that was a good excuse for my wife to allow me to <laughs> put money into. What else were you thinking of buying? Um, I like the hatchback. I wanted to get another hatchback. But for, but for family and to go yeah, snow, that wasn't going to work? Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't just something that... So was there any other like SUV that you were thinking or you were like, nah, as soon as I saw the CRV? I don't like new... No, I don't like newer cars. Okay. So I wanted to keep it in the Honda. Gotcha. So, uh, um, yeah. So where did you find this one? Uh, this one, I got it... Um, you know, this is my fourth CRV. Oh, shoot. <laughs> There's that. Okay. So, I, I mean, I bought an automatic CRVs before. This is a five-speed. Oh. So, I bought an automatic. It was, so, it's five-speed from so, factory? Yeah. That's a, really hard to find. Yeah, it's an overdrive five-speed. So, where'd you so, find it? In Corona. Was it like Craigslist and? And uh, OfferUp. Yeah, so, in, in OfferUp, I uh, uh, reached out to the guy and, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he posted it like last night at 10 and then I was 7 in the morning. I was already over there <laughs> uh, uh, ready to buy and it was wide. It's hard to find a white one. Well, let's get in it. Uh, tell us about the front end. What do you got going on? Well, the, uh, uh, the front end is a JDM bumper. With now, the, uh, if you, sorry to inter yep. interrupt you. For those that don't know, like myself, what's the difference between the JDM and the USDM? Well, the USDM is all black. Oh. So they're all black. I mean, it's just like kind of like the trim. Okay. So the JDM bumper, it has color. It's called Full Mark. Mm. So it's like not the grill and the bumper. It's kind of like a full mark. It's kind of like a premium edition that oh, it was an okay, offer okay. in in US. So uh, um, it comes with the fog lights and uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like the setup. That's that's all I, I like it. There's other ones that have more grills, uh -huh. have like a little more extra stuff. You know, very clean. Japan gets better the, stuff. Yeah, than oh yeah, they get all, all the, the time, good stuff. right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I had to this bumper. I bought it in. Um, in Dominican Republic. <laughs> I had to get it from over there. Oh, I'm so glad that thing happened on the transport, man. Yeah. It's nerve wracking getting parts. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. I mean, it's some of the parts, if you wanna, if you don't wanna pay the high prices, 
you kind of have to risk it and order from overseas. So, Dominican Republic. <laughs> I mean, I got Dominican Republic, Russia, and New Zealand. I have parts oh, from wow. uh, uh, those three places. It's pretty rad to know. Yeah. Cool. And then the headlights? The headlights, they're just depot headlights. Mm. I mean, uh, uh, those are the headlights that came with uh, uh, another CRB I had. Oh, okay. So pretty much I just transfer. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I mean, uh, they're still clean. I didn't, I really don't, didn't, didn't mind. I'm not too crazy over like, oh, I have to have OEM pay mm -hmm. 800 $900 for headlights. I yeah, was like, no. Nah. I get you. I'm the same way. So I'm like, hey, if they work, that's fine. I just want it. What I have, it's just what I wanted. I didn't want yeah. that. And no, I mean, no, it's clean. all the parts that I've been putting on, it's because I, I, I flip parks from the young dirt mm -hmm. and uh, um, I get all the CRBs and I get them off the car and then put them here. I'll sell them, make extra cash and then buy my bumper. And Smart. Then buy, buy my visors, buy this, buy that. So, so you're the reason why the CRVs at the Young Car, they're all scrapped out, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> no, everybody's like that, right? The Civics, the, yeah, everything's yeah, like that. Yeah, I have all the uh, alerts on, on my <laughs> yeah, well, the, figure part. <laughs> all the like 100 mile radius. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> yeah, it's way it I already, be. like, you meet a lot of people, you're already like, hey, is it? I haven't <laughs> seen you before. <laughs> they know you by first name. Yeah. And man. then the, the, the bra is pretty good condition, too. Yeah, I mean, that one I got it from. Uh, uh, got it from uh, uh, another another CRB that I bought mm. and I bought it because it had a lot of the uh, accessories oh. so pretty much I got it took off the accessories and then sold the CRB again so um, yeah man I mean I've been able to get I think I haven't I haven't paid out of my pocket Dope. any of the parts Dope. you know I've been able to to flip been able to find at the junkyard complete CRBs man with all the rear uh, uh, accessories accessories that Dope. maybe can be worth 1500 in the market but you pay 150 bucks for it Smart. for everything and yeah. then you put it You're put it all together man. yeah man scavenger sweet and then making the way to the side uh tell us about some of the mods that you've done to it yeah well i mean right now i have i just did the suspension so it has the lift kit on the on on the how uh, many inches would that be um, it's a two-inch lift kit. Only two? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. So it has the uh, um, the springs are called all all man emo, so they're a little the spring rate's a little higher. Um, so it has a camber kit and some uh, uh, camber kit um, spacers, just for the uh, for the um, just for the suspension not to be too uh, uh, to tilt because it. Uh -huh. um, if it has too much stress, it tends to shake. Uh, yeah, the steering wheel tends to shake. The car. I think that's one of the main problems, like that you know that a lift CRB shakes. Oh, okay. So I mean, this one doesn't shake anymore, but I've been okay. fixing stuff. Then I mean, the rare parts are the uh, the front mud flaps too, or kind of. Uh, are those rare? Yeah. Yeah. They're hard to find. I mean, I, you can they're a little pricey the, too, though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Is it, is it specifically the front ones or just mud flaps in the general? The front ones. Okay. Just the front ones. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they all the uh, all the CRBs come with the rear oh, flaps. Okay. See, and I love learning about this just because like it's similar. Like, well, obviously for the course, it's not like that. But there are other parts that like, yeah, for for coupes or for sedans, there's yeah. something very specific. So I like the fact that the <laughs> the front mud flaps for those. Okay. Yeah. I mean, also the uh, uh, the nerf bars, which is the other side steps on the side. That looks I mean, super cool. You can't really step on them, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there. That's good. Thank you for telling me. Yeah. Nice. So it's also kind of like the rare. Yeah, that look. That piece looks very nice. The rare part. So I mean, it's the sides, and then there's one in the rear. Um. Then the visors. They're also those are gotten from Russia, like I, I was telling you. Um, Some of my favorite looking visors. Yeah, I mean, I love how big they are. Some people don't like them. I love them. I I kind of like them because kind you know of? <laughs> I, I like the uh, uh, the Mini Cooper, the 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 little Mini Cooper. Uh huh. The the old one. I think it's what like seventy something. <clears throat> that one has. I'm not sure if you have noticed they, they're original visors, so they're like big. This is kind of like the same way, but it, they're big. It actually cover. It goes from here. It goes all the way down here. 
The, I haven't noticed the Mini Cooper ones, but the, the ones that have similar to this is the Odyssey RA1. Again, it's similar okay. to the core game, but yeah. okay. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. I love them. I love them. That's the yeah, first thing I, that, that caught my eye. Yeah, I, li I like them too. I mean, and again, those are part of uh, uh, the things that I always wanted to get. Like I said, I don't I don't think I'm putting any, any other any Additional other accessory. accessories anymore. I oh, just, it looks perfect, man. And then the, the rear of the wing, is that OEM? Um, yeah, I mean, it's OEM, but I had to get it. That one, I got it from Russia, too. I mean, but um, what, what's you so can find it, here. it I mean, there's really nothing special. Okay. Just the third brake light. Uh, I mean, not a, not, there's not a lot of options here. Not, not a lot of oh, cars come okay, with okay. it. Oh, okay, okay. So in that sense, it's harder to find just yeah. the pieces. Yeah. I mean, I have seen it also. Uh, um, so that's the third. Oh, wow. That's so cool, dude. I really like those bars. So the 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 two side bars they can be two hundred and fifty bucks, but then the rear alone it's it can be two hundred and fifty bucks just for the <laughs> rear alone. I love how you like it too. Yeah, oh, it's wow. harder to find the the uh, the rear one. And I mean also the tire cover I found it at at the junkyard. No way. But um yeah it's also fine to I mean hard to find it too. So it's yeah man. Oh man. I love the way you have it. It's so aggressive, even with the air, uh, the little truly a uh, cargo. Um, yeah. The box. The box is. is yeah, I mean, again, it just just wanted to kind of have the extra space. I mean, I got it for we we went driving to uh, Yellowstone. Oh. So having the space uh, uh, in uh, in my other car, I wanted to have extra space in, in the back and stuff, and then just to be as comfortable as uh -huh. possible. If we need to stay and sleep in the car, then just go to the back and then go go to sleep. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I end up staying there. My wife was like, "Hey, I don't want it in the patio. I don't want it in the garage." So there just, you go. Just take it, and I mean, that's my that's my storage now. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah. And then um, wheel and tire setup. What do you got going on? So and they're uh, super rare Rotus. <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, you got from Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. They're 15 by 8, uh, 25 is the offset. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, the tires just kind of have a little aggressiveness. Again, it's they, they ride super good on the snow. What size tires? Uh, they're 215, 75, 15. 75. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, and I, I go to the snow, they don't ask me for chains or anything. I mean, nice. I do have chains because it was one time that it was like a it's at an R3 uh, condition, so it's like you, all cars you are required to. to but other than uh, that, you, they look at you? Other like, than that, I have, I have been driving the car like that without any, any problems. Yeah, yeah. man, so it's really comfortable. I really like the black accents that you did with the white uh, car. You, yeah. just, everything works, the, the, the color of the wheels, I really like it. So, like everything is just, you can tell that it's equipped with different stuff, but it's so subtle. Yeah. It's weird how to explain it. Yeah. No, man, man that's you. dope. Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, uh, that's the look at what I mean, because a lot of people kind of paint the sides and stuff mm -hmm. just to kind of match it, because there's other CRBs that come with the, uh, with the sides painted. Is that because of a higher trim? Or yeah. No? Okay, gotcha. So it's, okay. It, uh, the trim, it's called SE. Mm -hmm. So that will come with leather inside. Oh. Painted bumpers, which is, that's a SE bumper like that. So. It's basically the same looking bumper, but um, it just painted. painted. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Um, Anything with the rear lights that you did? Um, they're just depot. They're oh, kinda, okay. 50-50s, so uh, that's how they're called. So 50-50. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <coughs> I really like the clear look. That's why. Yeah. Reminds me of the EM1s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love EM1s. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Sweet. Uh, you, I think you mentioned it. There's not many big plans for it, but is there anything else that you can think of that you may do in the future? I think probably just kind of get the dings out. Just the little dings. What dings, man? There's some dings in there. <laughs> oh, so uh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, but other than that, I mean, I really don't have, really don't think I can get any, any other, any other parts. Plus right now, the parts are even more expensive uh -huh. because of COVID. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, I have, I have what I always wanted, and uh, um, yeah, I mean, interior-wise, also the wheel and everything. It's, I think I'm, I'm, I'm all set for now. I'm looking for a cooler. It's an original cooler mm -hmm. from Honda. So I'm actually talking to a guy right now in, uh, uh, in Europe, 
But he wants like trying 700 to see. bucks. Yeah, he's like, oh, I don't know if it costs 100 or, or 700. I was like, I think it's like 50 bucks. <laughs> but it's it's original Honda and then it connects in the back and then it's, it's a cooler kind of fridge. So it's always, uh, every time you turn on the car, it's it's on, so it starts blowing. What? So it's a red Honda cooler. Uh, this one's come with table, I mean, no? It has a table. It does? Yeah. Okay. It comes with the table. How cool and, is that? And I mean, I um, there's other guys that have, they, they come with the shower. No. There's a shower head for really? it. Really? Dude, there's so many, so many rare parts for these things. That, I didn't know that. Um, and and uh, the Japanese model too, you can, um, you can tilt the chair. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, so it, I mean, it turns. Facing back, yeah. yeah. So it faces back and then it's like kind of like. old school van stuff. Yeah. Ah. So the center table right now, what I have is a JDM table, so extends to a four cup holders, but it's but it's bigger. Like the table, it's bigger. Oh shoot! So you kind of have you can have. Uh, well, speaking of beautiful and clean, thank you, man. So yeah, I mean, um, I knew that the uh, one of the mods on, on that I wanted was the EM1 cluster. Oh. So there's a EM1 cluster there. So you drive an SI? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool, man okay so uh um then the quick release you know to add just a little more security mm -hmm. on it but um yeah that was one of my favorite steering wheels i always dreamed to have a personal steering wheel like that and um, what size is that do you know uh it's a 350. okay yeah it's a 350. also some of the rare parts that they're hard to find it's uh the tweeters that you can uh also it's funny but just this fog light button it's it's something that it's i mean you can pay probably a hundred bucks for the fog lights but if you don't have the button then it doesn't work but the button they want 100 150 just for the button <laughs> so it's funny i was able to find out the young character oh i really? found the whole harness with the uh, with the button and stuff so finding the harness and everything it's 250 dollars for the whole came up right away yeah the red hustler button was also uh, uh um, JDM thing. Okay. What else? The center, center table. That's uh, the one that you were saying? Yeah. Okay. And, and so you said, what, what's the difference? It's bigger? Yeah, just bigger and it has, it has like extra cup holders in the back. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, yes. yes. There's people that put uh, um, CRB, I mean, uh, uh, Odyssey or, or ah. Element uh, um, center tables too. Oh, okay. For, I mean, there's people that don't want to spend the money and then just kind of adapt something mm -hmm. else so so yeah man i mean that's very very nice interior man super clean um any other future plans for it i mean probably not i wanted to keep a stock because i mean i daily drive it too mm -hmm. and even though i just got a, a an ek that's the one I, uh nice. we wanted to to Build. fix mm -hmm. yeah but um but yeah i mean it just has an intake and in, in the engine bay and uh well, let's pop the engine bay. <laughs> let's do it. Let's see. Let's see what the the intake looks on that case it's a, it's a on a case CRV. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very clean, very nice though. Are you sure you go off roading? You're lying. Uh, <laughs> you use that as an guy, excuse, but you haven't even gone on one trip. Your wife's like, all, he doesn't my, even go. <laughs> all, all my guys from uh, so-called CRV, they're gonna say like, oh, that's it's a uh, call them mall mall crawler or the parking lot crawler. Oh, the parking lot crawler. Yeah. He never makes it to the meet. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, wow. So it's very very nice and clean. So. Obviously, tell us a little bit about the additional accessories that you have on this. I mean, I kind of got I was able to get that Intec. Just wanted to put something just to make... Uh, uh, Sounds? Just, just <laughs> sound, you know? Because it doesn't really move that much. It's just the sound that makes... I it mean, makes big noises, but yeah, it's, you're still... It just at, doesn't, yeah. <laughs> okay. doesn't move as quick. Uh -huh. I mean, other than that, I mean, it's just that and, uh, and the, uh, the strobe bar. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they... That's pretty much it. Other than that, I just wanted to keep it stock and just, you know, to pass emissions. Yeah, you know, how easy it is to. Yeah. I've been wanting to put headers on it, but, um, you know, with the emissions and all that stuff. You don't want to be running to that. Yeah, that's Yeah, fine. I just didn't want it to. You said it's all-wheel drive, five-speed. Yeah. Um, how hard is it to work on these cars so far in your It's actually pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Okay. 
you know, I'm neither no certified mechanic, mm -hmm. but um, I've been able to to find a lot of videos on YouTube oh, okay. and stuff. So I'm a YouTube mechanic. You're a YouTube mechanic? Yeah. You guys are from YouTube Academy? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I didn't graduate. I, have, I'm still, I haven't. I'm still part I haven't of it. No, sorry, I haven't graduated. Oh, okay. Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're flunking, but you keep going back to using yeah. the videos. <laughs> I'm the same way. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, but I've been able to change axles. I've been able to uh, uh, to do a lot of the things uh, to it because of YouTube. Or um, I have a few friends that they they they're mechanics. They're real mechanics. They're real mechanics. So they always are uh, uh, helping me. Just say like, hey, do this, do that. Uh, or hooking me up with parts and stuff, so it's... It's super clean, man. Thank you, bro. I love the fact that you have it super nice and clean. Thank you, um, thank you. And then the exhaust, everything is... Uh, yeah, stock. it's original. Yeah, the, the, oh. everything original. How so. many miles? Uh, it has 180. Oh, 180. 180. Yeah, 180. And when did you get it? Do you remember how many miles it had? Um, it was one... It was 170, like 172. Okay. I, I have only one year with it. Oh wow! Okay, so you're about the average ten. Yeah. Okay. I had one year with it. I mean, I I got it stuck, but I did had my other Chevy had all the parts, mm -hmm. suspension, wheels, and everything. So I just transferred everything. I, I thought it was gonna be a three-hour job, bro, and end up spending um, eleven hours <laughs> to, do, to transfer <laughs> suspension and everything. I was like, oh man, I'm not. It's because you thought it's, you saw a YouTube video and it was oh, you know, yeah, yeah. three it was, minutes. It was thirty minutes. It's thirty minutes. You're like, oh, this is easy. Yeah. All right, Miguel. Thank you so much, man. This is such a dope ride. I really legitimately like it. I really mean that. Thank you. I really, really do, I mean, man. One of your videos, you said you didn't like CRB, so. I always talk smack. <laughs> you should know that. Well, thank you for watching my videos. Yeah, you should yeah. know that. But it's just a big Civic, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. the way I put it. No, man. Um, I really like the way you have it set up, the color, the accents, uh, the touch that you've done. It's only one of those things that if you know, you know. Otherwise, I wouldn't know. I would just be like, oh, yeah. it's a CRV with painted bumpers. Yeah. But no, there's so much to it. And then the interior pieces, man. Um, so, any shout outs? Yeah, man, well, first, I want to thank my wife for allowing me to pretty much kind of get my dream, you know, and I mean, I say a dream, I mean, probably for all the people would be like, oh, just a CRB, but just the fact that I'm able to put this much time and effort and money to the car, I mean, she's she's fine with it pretty much. She She's cool, so that's my first uh, thanks go go to her and my, my kids too. They like to hang out. And then uh, so-called CRB, all the guys there. And uh, um, B Words Garage is the one that takes care of my car. Uh, EG6 Garage, which is Rafa. Um, <clears throat> well, so, I mean, my source of parts in Russia, uh, CRB parts uh, in Dominican Republic, it's uh, uh, Leo, Leo Badi, I think it's uh, uh, his name. That's a guy over there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if I miss everybody, anybody, you know, thank you. Either way, thank you for um, always helping out with if I have questions. Chora, uh, Chora, I think it's Chora Auto Mechanics. It's also another friend that helps me out with Damn. when I have questions with, with, the, with how to fix or how to change something. So There's a big yeah. hole behind the CRV, huh? Yeah, you know, it's, 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 you see like a lot of more of like the older guys really because okay. i feel like um they're more like parents mm. you know they have already kids and stuff so they have their back seats i think the younger guys they just worry about their seat and then it. tear everything out oh, okay um but yeah i mean i i met pretty pretty awesome guys you know some of them i met i had a dull soul before that's how i met brian at b-works um and other other guys too but then from him as he got a crb and then i started kind of looking into like hey what's up with that and he was the one pretty much that introduced well, let me, me tell to, you sir <laughs> this is this is what you can do and yeah man it, it, it's getting it's getting bigger so um yeah i mean now i we said i buy and sell parts for crbs that's and stuff cool, right? so yeah all right, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, dude. No, thank this you, is an man. awesome build. Thank uh, you, thank definitely you. appreciate it, man. Um, can't wait to see what you do with it, but I think it's, it's. I think you should leave it. Leave it. It's done. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah, I think it will be more of like performance, maybe uh, just some headers or yeah, maybe an exhaust or something like that. Maybe, I mean, a, K, maybe a K20. You know, <laughs> K24. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm, I'm not into like, especially right now with the regulations, swapping yeah. cars and stuff. It just, just hard. So. 
I mean, I have an EK, probably I'm just gonna, gonna have fun with that right now. It's okay. an automatic, but it's like a, a project that I have for my kids. So oh, sweet. My, my dream is to build an engine with them and then put it in, into that, into the AK. I'm not sure if it's gonna be that one, but, uh, Dope. but yeah, just, just kind of have fun with them and stuff. So yeah, man. Maybe that might be my kids ride when he goes to high school or something. So that's so cool, man. So, Definitely yeah, love it, man. Well, yeah. thank you, Miguel. I appreciate you, your man. time, man. This, is, you, this has been you. fun, man. Thank you. Thank you, bro.